Yo, what it do YouTube? It's your boy Jojo back here again with another banger, with another video, man. Today, me and my homeboys, Addison Mitchell, Hunter, and his girlfriend, we all about to go to Atlanta. We all about to go to some thrifting thing called Vintage Con. And it should be fun, bro. We're gonna have a good time up in Atlanta. So I'm about to take y'all with me and enjoy the ride, bro. See y'all. You don't gotta live with this feeling, so shawty can do better. My vibe, I could keep your head up. I got mine, got no vendetta. My clip, I don't need no tell. You waste my time, I might need Seeing you got ritualistic Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart yeah. Tension Between us just like big defenses You got issues that I will mention for now Cause we're falling apart Stop it. Get some help. Big old bag, bro. That's big. Got a hundred dollars. Got like fifty clothes. This man spent like three hundred dollars. Got five pieces of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> he a hustler. He not. Who Logan told me about? Oh yeah. Logan told me about that, and then uh, then I just seen this one by. Yeah, and then you know, you know how I just like go around and talk to people randomly. So I just started talking to Bong, and he was fucking other ones. He gave us some deals and stuff, and. uh I got his IG, started talking to him on DMs and stuff, and you know, here we are. We're just uh, vintage thrifters. And yeah, and we've uh, I've spent four hundred dollars in the past two months on vintage clothes. I spent eight. <laughs> <laughs> I spent eight. <laughs> yep, and this is my first time, bro. It was straight, it was smooth, low key, bro. Straight. Ain't no nice lie. I We're spent about like time over a hundred though. We're going on June twelfth at back in Kennesaw, but I don't even know if I. Can no, but look, if you think about it though. You need if you needed clothes, you go to Dick's or like Kohl's or like anywhere. You have to go to Walmart to get some cheap ass like this. Like if you shop like how I shop, it, it's not how I'm gonna shop. But you personally, for like twenty five dollars. I'm getting at everything Walmart for like 10, 10, 20, 15, like thirty at the most. 
and you're making deals on everything, you're bargaining down yeah. five, ten bucks. That's it's simple, bro. Low key, they were like smart down, but at the same time, they were kind of pricey exactly. too. Exactly. Like if you and do you see a guy, you gotta read. You gotta read the seller always, bro. I'm telling you, cause like, remember that the the corduroy like overshirt thing that I got. Yeah. That guy was like, I'm just trying to get rid of it. And I was like, if you're trying to get rid of it, I'll take it for ten right now. Cause he and he already declined ten, but I kept asking. Him, hey, you gotta out. Stay persistent. That one guy. I ain't even asking for a deal. He just seen me. He just like my tough ass. <laughs> seen me wearing uh this tough ass. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was looking at another like hat type of like '96 Olympic hat. And then I grabbed his shirt. And he was like, "Bro, I'll put you for 30 on his shirt." And she was selling it for like 45. So I was like, "Yeah, give me that." Exactly, bro. Everybody in there was just chill, friendly, yeah. junk, bro. I mean, it was just a vibe, bro. No cap. They had some good music, had some rap music and everything, bro. But yeah, it was dope. No cap. Now we about to go eat. And then head back home. So yeah. Yeah. Are you actually down to do that? I'm so down for that. Are we doing it? Or are we not doing it? You decide. <laughs> so yeah, we at what's this called? Iron Age Korean Steakhouse. Hopefully it's good. Hunter suggested it for us to eat. And God. so yeah. What's <laughs> that thing tilted? So yeah. <laughs> so how'd you even hear about the spot, bro? Uh, <laughs> I went here uh, with the Asian and but the one in Kennesaw, though. <laughs> it's good. Let's go with Bunsen. I think we should definitely get the steak, though. Okay. Which steak? Which steak? Just beef. Let's just get the beef burger. Yeah, I thought it was just steak and steak. Dude. I'm saying. Uh, garlic pork steak? Or the pork steak. What's okay. the pork steak, bro? Yeah, what is a pork steak? It's not. It's not that. Only get the beef brisket. They ain't got no chicken on there. Oh, we only get first time. Beef bulgogi and you've been here. What's good? Beef bulgogi. What, what did you get? Yeah, steak. Don't know what he's doing. We don't know what you get. I didn't know steak was pork. I don't pork. even know how to use chopsticks. Y'all said pork steak. I didn't know there was such a thing as pork steak. I dare you ask for a pork. I will ask for a pork. They don't have pork. I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is radish. I thought it was pineapple. So don't eat out of that because I put one in my mouth and put it back in. <laughs> Dude, what was it, spicy radish? Yeah, I licked it. Yeah, I don't even know how to use chopsticks, for real, for real. Bro, this thing's steaming, though. You think he a pretty boy, but he really not, though. Should have this. Dude, do it. know the wise bro just finished eating now we're on the dumb scooters in Atlanta bro it's about to ride around be a little some fun in gonna be a little exhilarating ride almost busting my tail about 15 times already but but yeah let's get it it's a beautiful view man you know had to stop take a little video of it man it's just nice out here sometimes you know beautiful out here especially when the sun's going down it's just nice man nice and peaceful Sometimes you gotta look up at yeah, God's creation. And just thank him, man. Thank him for another day. Thank him for all the things he's given us. Well, I just busted my tail <laughs> riding that dang scooter, bro. Well, Can't believe you did that, bro. Where's the gas station? Imagine he was vlogging. He definitely would bust. Oh, I thought my phone. You got hands in yeah. It was a fun day, bro. Being in Atlanta with some of my homeboys from back home, Addison and Hunter, and his girlfriend was there too. It was just fun, man. That was my first experience of actually going to VintageCon. It was actually pretty dope, man. Uh, it was a cool experience, bro. I would give it a 10 out of 10 experience. If y'all can, go out to Adventures Con or like to some thrift store and just 
you know, just roam around and see what clothes they got, bro. Because it's really dope to see. Yeah, I got a few clothes. I got like a few t-shirts, uh, jacket and stuff like that. Two jackets. But it was pretty dope, man. I ain't gonna lie. I liked all the atmosphere was just all good vibes, bro. Nobody was in there complaining or nothing like that or getting mad or being hostile. Everybody was just chill by having a good time, listening to the music, vibing to the music, shooting the hoops, and just talking to the vendors, bro. It was just cool, bro. And then after Vintage Con, we went to uh, Iron Age. That was pretty dope, too. It was like a nice little um, restaurant. So we had to cook our own food, which I thought was stupid, but it was actually pretty dope. Like, we made our own food, and then we got to eat it, bro. And after that, we hopped on the scooters, rode on that and like i said i busted my tail near the end just riding around in some parking lot i was going down a hill and i lost control and i hopped off and i tripped and i just busted my knee i luckily i didn't get scraped up thank god i didn't really get hurt bad i could have then after the scooters we all just came back home hunter dropped us off at our houses man it was it was just a long day it was it was a nice long day that was fun though but uh, yeah vintage con definitely would do it again hopefully i can do it again soon but yeah it was fun man y'all just like comment and subscribe and be tuned in for the next videos man love y'all peace